Hi guys, my name is Tim and you're welcome to another edition of Smelly Sweet. Now, here's a video I never thought that I would do. Keep 10 fragrances for life. I think those videos are pretty lame. I think those videos don't say anything because we don't actually throw the rest of our fragrances away. But this idea came to me when I first got hold of Ganymede. That is over a month ago now and I haven't... The thought hasn't quite could been leaving me alone because I think I found what I was searching for in Ganymede. In Ganymede I found a signature scent, I found something unique, something new, still mass appealing. So my initial thought was just to keep Ganymede, two, three other fragrances and sell off the rest. But it was too difficult to narrow it down to, to those fragrances so I thought Let's give it a try. Let's see if I can narrow it down to 10 fragrances. And I think I've succeeded. But does that mean that I will toss away the rest or throw away the rest of the 290-ish fragrances that I've got left over in that case? I don't know. But I thought, I feel quite satisfied with the fragrances that I've chosen. I feel that I can take it, I could I could survive on these 10 fragrances. So obviously the first one I put down is Ganymede. Now it is as I said something new, something unique, mass appealing, but there is a leather suede going on in here that may not speak to everybody. At the same time by choosing this one as my number one for keeping time for life that rules out some other leather suede fragrances that I've got in my collection. For instance Tom Ford Ombre Leather, that has always been my number one leather fragrance. Can't pick that, just doesn't get, is the room in this collection, these 10 fragrances to include Tom Ford's Ombre Leather. Fidian London as well, Fidian Aswan as well, both great suede fragrances. That just doesn't fit in the bill. I'm trying to put it there so you can see them, maybe there you can fit it in. So, next up I decided I love the Aventus DNA. It was my first niche fragrance and I'm madly in love with the scent of it. But Aventus doesn't perform as well on my skin. Uh, so I looked at Hachivat, but Hachivat I do think it's a little bit too sharp in the opening. So obviously you have heard, if you've been to this channel before, you have heard of about this brand and this fragrance in particular and that is Niche Roll Pineapple Oak. In my opinion, the perfect mix of Hachivat and, Pine and Aventus, not as harsh as, as Hachivat and better performance compared to Aventus. So that was the second one. And with these two fragrances, I felt that I have covered, covered all my areas. All, they're very versatile all year around, maybe not getting made in the hottest summer's days, but I haven't tried that yet, but I think it could work. Anyway, so here I don't then thought I need to look at at a warm weather, at a real, real warm weather. And for me, there was no doubt that that was going to be Roger Enigma Pour Um. No, this one ruled out Elysium, which you can say it isn't that similar to, to Aventus and that, but it is also has a shipper going on in the dry down. It also ruled out my Oceania, but I'm counting on my wife to keep Oceania for us. <laughs> So, Roger Enigma Pour um, Sweetie Oud, I forgot about that one, but I more like to, to enjoy this one. I also knew that I love my Sergios, and I have got plenty of them, but I can't include all my Sergios because then it wouldn't be room over for anything else. So I put down Ivory Root, I don't know if you can see it there, maybe you can see it, Ivory Root, and to Reno 21. But at this point, I couldn't choose between them because I feel that I only can keep one of them. So I was putting them aside so long and see where we end up if I need a warm weather or a cold weather fragrance in the end of the video. So next up was Rivalité Imperial. I just knew with the sandalwood going on here, the crazy good sandalwood, you have a coconut vibe, you have tobacco, you have a fruitiness, a small booziness as well. I just knew this one has to be included, but that ruled out Killian's Angel Share. It ruled out 
the house of Ud dates the light and it ruled out Parfum de Marlis Oja because even though this one is the one that takes itself away, differs itself from the other ones, but it is in that, that genre as well. But <laughs> truly, the sandalwood, <laughs> it's so crazy good. Now, now I knew I need to start look at some, uh, some more fragrances for the warm weather. And with the coconut wipe going on in um, Rivality Imperial from Plume Impression, I thought of Santa Complet. So I can't include that one, but I could include Oud Bleu Intense from Fragrance de Bois. No, if this doesn't make you think about an ocean, a harbor, an old harbor, maybe with some wooden boats inside that harbor, then I don't know what you would go for instead. A lovely mandarin nutmeg in the top here that I believe is what creates that feeling of a marina or something like that. Hmm. And I also knew that I've been hunting those coffee fragrances for so long time until I finally, finally found Coffee Addict from Theodore's Calotanius. This one just has to be included. <laughs> if you want to wake up in the morning with a nice cup of coffee and add this one to your scent, man, that's like heaven. Just like a, a, a wish heaven could be like that. Anyway, Coffee Addict at the same time ruled out Santal Wood from Theodore Scalatanius. It ruled out Tobacco Maniac as well. So, but there was no doubt in my mind whatsoever. Now we have six fragrances starting to, to get to narrow it down. But with the tobacco fragrance that I ruled out, Tobacco Maniac, it got me thinking of Herod from Parfum de Mali. But at the same time, I do love my Leighton from Parfum de Mali. So this one was such a difficult choice. I want to keep one of them. I can't allow myself to keep both of them. Just one Parfum de Mali. But the wind, even though I like the scent more of this one, the wind goes to Herod because of the sentimental reasons from the tobacco in here. It makes me think of my grandparents. And sometimes you can find myself just smelling the cap and thinking, remembering my grandparents. So that was Herod. No, I felt yet again I need something that really screams summer. Something that is a little bit green, a little bit citrusy. <laughs> and it had to be my son Francis Kirk John Aqua Celestia Forte. No, I don't see that many people speak about this. When they speak about my son Francis Kirk John, they speak about Bacat Rouge 540, they speak about uh, Grand Soir. Gentle fluidity, I see a lot of, but I don't see so much about this one, and it is criminally, criminally underrated. Now, now I only have two places left, and one of those is going to be one of the Sergeofs, but one that I just knew I had to keep yet again. I love the scent, it has a wow factor, factor, but also I'm kind of feeling that I'm involved in this one, and that is Sweden from Swedoff. No. <laughs> there's a raspberry in here that comes off so light and fruity and airy at the same time there's some weight and heaviness to it just it has the wow factor uh, the kind of the way I'm involved in this one is that I was in the test group with when the perfume was trying it out on people now we're down to the surge offs only one to keep I do love ivory roots but does it fit in or does Torino 21 fit in? What do you think? Let me know in the comment sections. I still am not sure on which one to keep of these two beauties. Torino 21 might be a little bit similar to that one. Not similar in that, but in the same genre, the same, gives off the same vibes. Um, ivory root isn't similar to any one of these. There's a sandalwood, there's a peppery note there is some I believe they haven't listed it but I do believe there is tobacco in this one as well and I have two three fragrances up here with tobacco already mm, it's difficult it is difficult I don't know man 
this is difficult. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Help me out. Let me know in the comment section. What do you think that I should keep of my boat, of my surge of fragrances? That was all for today. I hope you enjoyed this light video of mine. So until the next time, you know what to do. Stay safe and be well. Bye.